All right, so volunteers in Ozaki County want you to fall in love with nature, so they're offering you a passport to some of the most beautiful parks and preserves right in your own backyard. This is not your ordinary passport. This is your chance to unleash your inner explorer and discover the seven natural treasure sites so close to home. That's right. Here to talk about the treasures of Oz are Aaron Ortiz and Mike Hoffer with the Ozaki Washington Land Trust. And uh, we are so excited to have you guys back. Thanks for being here. Oh, thanks. We're excited, too. Yeah, Hi. this is pretty exciting. So talk a little bit about where some of the, the sites for the, the Treasures of Oz are this year. Yeah, absolutely. So you, you said it exactly to the point that all of these sites are literally just in the backyard, even mm -hmm. from, you know, downtown Milwaukee. It's just a short drive. And there are these great start, sites starting in Maquan. There's the Maquan Nature Preserve. And then Cedarburg Bog isn't far away, which is actually not a bog and isn't in Cedarburg. <laughs> So it's a little okay. bit of a misnomer, but a great site. What is it? If it's not a bog, is it a swamp? It's technically a fen. A, a fen? fen? Yes. What is that? <laughs> it has springs in it. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And water flows out. And water well. flows out. Okay. okay, so bogs are stationary. Right. There's, right, okay. Yeah. What this is, is just swamp? technical stuff. Is the swamp worry. any different, or is that just another name? I don't name? think they have springs. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Just it's, it's very technical, but it's a great site. So <laughs> as you can see uh, carnivorous plants and orchids and unique dragonflies. So there's a lot of very cool what things. What is a there. carnivorous plant? It eats what? It eats little bugs. Oh. Oh, like mosquitoes? Yeah, like oh, mosquitoes. I, like that. I know. Yeah. That is favorite. awesome. Okay. What are some of the things that people can do on these? So you mentioned being able to see dif different plants. What else? There's um, great sites. You can take a look at kayaking, they have some fish identification. Well, what we're doing, we're showing off the natural areas mm -hmm. in Ozaki County. This is what goes on. And so you'll visit nature preserves, parks, restoration sites, waterfowl production area, that sort of thing. Oh, cool. And so you, you go to the site, and there's going to be somebody there to chat with you. So if it's a nature preserve, you'll have a naturalist there to just tell you all about it. If it's a restoration site, it'll be a natural resource professional. If it's a park, be a park staffer, and they'll tell you about the history of the place, that sort of thing. So how does the passport work? How does that sort of fall into place, and is it required to have one? It's not, but there's definitely a benefit. So everyone can get a passport. It's on our website, treasuresvaz.org. And then at each of the sites, you can get a passport stamp. Mm -hmm. And now if you ride your bike there, you get two stamps. Well, uh, yeah, so it's, it's double the fun. <laughs> That's cool. I get that. You reward people for riding their bike rather than driving is. a car there. And there's a um, big, um, what's the word for it? I can't think of it now. Is that a falcon? Well, they're considered raptors. R so raptors. Birds that was of a prey. Word. Birds That's of prey. Right. Okay. That's right. So at Forest Beak Mig Migratory Preserve in Port Washington is the big celebration. So you take your passports there and trade them in for raffle tickets. And then we have over 100 items between a silent auction and raffles, so people can get anything from free gift certificates for local restaurants, area venues, um, a pass for your bike tune-up. I mean, lots of great things, but it's all free. Cause the purpose of the event is to be able to get people out, see these great restoration areas, see fabulous places to do future staycations this summer. Mm -hmm. But it's it's economical. It's close, and we want just to be able to celebrate these great resources. Mm -hmm. I think it's great. I mean, just learning so much about our 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 land and the little spaces that we have, and you know where we can kind of go, and like you said, staycations or picnics or just learn more about it. So, is there a place? Is there a, a specific format that you're supposed to follow that you end and start at one place or can you kind of jump around however you want? You go wherever you want. Wherever go. you want. Yeah. Uh, you, you, there's no rules to this thing. Mm -hmm. It's just, hey, here in Ozaki County, there's a lot of great outdoor areas just all around you. Come see them. So mm -hmm. you go wherever you want to go. At the end of the day, if you like to visit us at Forest Beach Migratory Preserve, come on up. But no rules, no ulterior motives, no cost, just Come out and see your county. Now, where's the Five Star Bird Hotel? That's at Forest Beach. Okay. The Forest Beach <laughs> Migratory Preserve. Okay, so what what are the amenities there? Like, do they have turn down service for birds? Lots of kind seeds. Of, kind yeah. of. Well, <laughs> it is the only preserve in the Great Lakes region that's dedicated to migrating birds. Now, birds are this big and fly from northern Canada all the way to South America and back every year. It's staggering what these birds do. And what we've created at this preserve are many microhabitats. So mm. these birds are flying by. Whatever they need to stop and rest is there for them. So some, some birds are looking for open water or wetlands or grasslands. Every bird's looking for something a little different. So we've got it for them. Are there birds there now that people would see if they go there? 
Always, always. There's always birds. And we've you have uh, any we've recorded on over 270 different species of bird there wow. in just five years. Wow. Do you tag them or? We look at them. <laughs> <laughs> We're nice to them. And there occasionally we'll do some bird banding, tagging, that sort of thing. But for the most part, we're gentle with Observe. Them. Just yeah. look mm -hmm. at them. That is so cool. And what a Me unique that. opportunity for all of us mm -hmm. here to really see the natural resources in our own backyard. So June 20th is this free family-friendly event where you this can... Saturday. Yeah, which is this Saturday. You can get a passport, learn more about getting a passport, or just visiting the seven treasures. If you want more information, visit them at treasuresofoz.org. Always great to see you Thanks guys. You guys. Yeah, Thank so you so much. much. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, sounds good <laughs> for sure. All right.